Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hey what's up YouTube this is Vasse here and today in this video I'm going to show you how you can share internet from your Mac or how you can use your macbook as an internet hotspot so let's begin the video before i begin to show you how you can share internet from your mac i should tell you that it is really awful when it comes to mac for sharing internet uh, on windows all you need to do is to press on the hotspot button and you have internet hotspot but on mac the story is pretty much different uh, so let me show you what i mean by that the first scenario may be that your macbook is connected to a wi-fi and you want to share internet to your phone so if your macbook or mac is connected to wi-fi then you can only share internet using a cable like a lightning cable to your phone meaning your macbook cannot regenerate wi-fi signals if it is already using internet from a wi-fi source so that's the bad thing about apple because in windows it doesn't matter but let me show you before i go to the settings on mac all you need to do is to connect your uh, lightning cable to your phone if you have an iphone or any other cable and connect the other end to your macbook once it is connected now let me show you what you have to do on your mac on the macbook there are two ways to share internet the first and easy way is to press command space it will open spotlight and just type share or sharing and it is going to show sharing preferences for some reason if it is not showing what you can do is to press on the apple icon on the top left side and go to system settings here i have mac os ventura so your interface may be a little bit different anyways you need to find general in settings and then go to sharing again pressing command space and opening spotlight is much easier here you're going to find somewhere saying internet sharing right here before you enable it you need to press on this i button or information button now here is the thing so you're going to select uh, share your connection from so i have selected wi-fi meaning that uh, this macbook is getting or receiving internet from a wi-fi source so that's why i have selected wi-fi if you're getting internet from a lane or any of these other sources then you're going to select it but in my case i'm getting it from uh, internet from a wi-fi router so i have selected wi-fi the next thing is that it's going to show you your iphone if you have connected the lane port on this list or any of your phone which you have connected so it should pop up right here and currently you can see my iphone is not showing so what we can do is to uh, unplug the phone and replug it again with our macbook and it should show here in the list as well as you can see iphone usb so now what this means that the internet that it's going to share is to my iphone using the usb cable or the lightning cable if you have any other device connected it should sh show in this list again the first step means where the macbook is getting its internet and the second list means on which port it's going to share it after that press on done and now we're going to enable internet sharing press on start so here on my iphone if i go and open settings you can see that i have disabled wi-fi but since i am sharing it with my mac i should still be able to use internet on my phone for this if i go and open google chrome run any speed test website you're going to see that i will still have internet so this is the first scenario when you're going to have uh internet uh, wi-fi internet on your macbook and you're going to share it via wire let me show you the second scenario as well the second scenario is that your macbook is connected to the internet using an ethernet cable just the one i have right here if you have uh, the latest macbooks then you're going to know that they don't have an ethernet port so in most cases you're going to be using a dongle just like i have right here and if you are interesting in knowing more about this dongle which i really like make sure that you watch this video uh, the box will be right here anyways if your macbook is connected to the internet using an ethernet cable or ethernet port then you can share wi-fi using wi-fi signals to your other devices which is really cool for that again on your macbook you are going to open sharing settings and from here you're going to again go to internet sharing and you're going to press on the i button from here you can see it has changed your share your connection from wi-fi to this device because now you're sharing you're receiving internet to your macbook using an ethernet cable 
so in most cases it's going to be this one basically this code means that you are getting internet from an ethernet cable using some kind of adapter which i am and if your macbook has a direct ethernet port then it should say ethernet adapter etc so i know this is the correct source and now how i want to share it i want to share internet from this macbook to other devices using wi-fi and if you want to change the wi-fi name password you're going to press on wi-fi options here you're going to enter the username and password of your macbook once you enter your name and password to unlock your mac you're going to press on allow and now you can set the name of your wi-fi which you're going to share i set it uh, wase you can set a security wpa23 and you're going to set a password for your wi-fi in my case i'm just going to password it one two three two or one two eight basically if i show you the password right here you can set any password for your wi-fi that you're sharing from this mac press on ok done again we're going to enable internet sharing uh, for internet sharing you need to enable wi-fi although you are connected using the ethernet port we're going to press on turn wi-fi on press on start here on top of the macbook you can see that the wi-fi icon has been changed it says wi-fi internet sharing if for some reason your icon does not change what you can do is to first enable wi-fi and then enable internet sharing if a bug occurs and here in my phone you can see that i am getting the wase wi-fi as well which is basically internet being shared from my macbook and i have already entered the password etc so that's why it is connected again if i go and open chrome open any speed test website it's going to work so basically yeah so these are the two ways in which you can share uh, internet or use your macbook as a hotspot for internet again this is very difficult as compared to windows pieces which is really easy but this is how you can do it so guys if you like this video like share subscribe if you have any other questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so other than that thank you for watching and as always stay safe